Alrighty, yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Faye here. Welcome back to another video, boys. Today, we are back on the OP Legends Network for a brand new prison let's play. And, guys, it's gonna be the first episode of the brand new season that just got released on the server. So, if you guys wanna go ahead and hop on and play with me, go ahead and connect using the IP fane.oplegends.com. And also, to celebrate the server's release, we're gonna be giving away two monthly crates to two of you lucky people. So, if you guys wanna go and enter, simply just drop a like on the video, comment your IGN, and you guys are entered. Good luck to everybody. Entering in and without further ado boys, let's go ahead and get into the video I'll see you guys in the next clip and peace out Alrighty boys, let's go ahead and get straight into the video And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start off the season by doing our reclaim Which if we go ahead and type in such kit real quick, let's go ahead and do the legend once kit There we go, we just went ahead and received ourselves a monthly crate, 10 reality keys and also 20 magnetic keys I don't think there's any other kit once's that we can go ahead and redeem like the Apollo, Neptune, anything like that So we're gonna go ahead and just take this for Right now we got one monthly key, 20 rally keys, or 10 rally keys, and 20 magnetic keys. Alrighty, let's go ahead and open up the monthly crate first. Let's go ahead and type in such crates and we'll go ahead and click on this. There we go. Let's go ahead and open it and we'll go ahead and teleport to the monthly crate section over here. And let's just hope that we get some good stuff to go ahead and start ourselves out with. We've got a 3.5x rank currency booster, a tier 3 all orbs pouch. We just got a bunch of pouches, which honestly don't really mean a lot as our rank is level zero, but we did get ourselves a 3.5x orbs booster and also a 3.5x rank currency booster and from the final reward we got ourselves some sunshine boots i was kind of hoping that we got ourselves some crystal boxes or even like a pickaxe skin or something like that but unfortunately we did not and um, this is basically what the large pet backpack looks like okay we definitely do need one of these so that in the future once we open up a bunch of pet boxes it goes all in there and we can go ahead and send them all at once but we still do have a few relic keys and a few magnetic keys to go ahead and open up so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go and open up the magnetic keys first. Insta open all. There we go. And we got two ultra pet boxes. We got a player shop. We got a 3x rank currency booster and also a rally key. Let's go and open up all the rally keys as well. Let's go and insta open all. There we have it. And we got ourselves a small pet backpack. Okay, that's not too bad. We also got another two rally keys. Let's go and redeem that. There we go. And we'll go and open up the rest of the two. There we have it. And we got ourselves a few orbs boosters right over here. Alrighty, that is that for the crate opening. Let's go ahead and type in such kit now. And we'll go ahead ahead and do the legend kit so that we can get the pickaxe there we go efficiency 200 fortune 200 dragon burst 150 or grade 150 and grade 50 all right let's go ahead and redeem this there we go and the new enchant should be applied onto our pickaxe and now let's go and open up these ultra pet boxes in hopes that we can go to get ourselves a good orbs pet or if not like a good money pet will do as well let's go and open it all up right now though there we go and now if we go ahead and right click onto the pet backpack let's go to see what pets we just got we got ourselves a common orbs we got a rare armor shards, epic dragon burst pair, um, epic lucky blocks, and then we got an epic key finder and also an epic relic finder. To be honest, we could have gotten some better pairs. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this alpha right now, though, and we're gonna go ahead and use the common orbs pair for the entirety of the episode until we go ahead and get ourselves a better rarity. And I'm um, saying, so let's go ahead and activate this. There we go, and we're getting straight into the money. So let's go to type in such mine. Honestly, I don't really have a game plan for right now. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and stick to mining just a bunch of stuff. So so that we can go ahead and stack up on our mine orbs and also our money. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and keep upgrading my enchants and stuff like that. And I'll probably go ahead and bring you all back later on once we've made a bunch of progression. But yeah, for right now, we got nothing else to do besides grind out some mine orbs and stuff like that. So guys, that is what I'm going to go ahead and do. And I'll go ahead and cut right back to you guys once we have a massive update clip. Alrighty, boys, welcome back. It is now a few hours since the last clip. And boys, a lot of stuff has changed. We've been doing a lot of grinding and dummy wins up doing a stream and on stream we actually got ourselves a unique orbs pet as you guys can see so yeah we started leveling this up currently it is level 81 and it's giving us a 1.5x boost so yeah that is very good we finally got ourselves a better pet man and yeah hopefully we can go ahead and get this max out soon and i'm pretty sure once this is fully maxed out it gives us like a 4.5x boost or something like that so yeah that is very good also a quick update on our pickaxe we've been upgrading our pickaxe a lot we've got fortune 2000 combo 2k Key Finder 1.7k, Dragon Burst 1.5k, and Orb Grade 1.5k. We also got Carpa Bump to about 1,000 levels as well because somebody told me on stream to go ahead and upgrade it. So we went ahead and invested a bit of our mind orbs on that as well. So yeah, honestly, we're not doing too bad. Let's go ahead and type in such armor though, and we're gonna go ahead and purchase our first piece of the hydrogen armor. So let's go ahead and get the boots. There we go. And we now have a dollars and mind orbs multiplier. So let's go ahead and swap that out for that. There we have it. 
And um, yeah, hopefully we can go ahead and get some better tier armor in the future episodes. But for right now, the hydrogen armor is pretty overpowered. So yeah, all we got to do now is to go ahead and level it up by mining. But before we go ahead and do that, we got some crate keys to go ahead and open up. So let's get into it and let's go ahead and open up the mine keys first. Insta open all. There we go. We got some pet boxes. Honestly, I just want a bunch of pet boxes at this point. And yeah, let's go ahead and open up the prize keys. There we go. We got 30 loot keys and then also 37 relic keys. There we have it. And all of our stuff is opened up. Yo, we actually got ourselves a crystal box, which is insane. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a orb magnet if we can. And unfortunately, we didn't. That would have been very good. I think for the entirety of this episode, though, I'm just going to stick to mining. I don't want to do like any of the other ones like Slayer, Lake or Farm. Um, I just want to go ahead and kind of just level up my pickaxe as much as I can. And then in the next episode and stuff like that, we'll go ahead and check out the other universes. Also, a quick update on our mine upgrades. If we go ahead and type in such mine and we go to the mine upgrades, as you guys can see, we've actually leveled up our mine a bunch. I'm pretty sure it goes here all the way up to level 34, which is a 54 by 54 mine. And you guys can also go ahead and help me out by mining at my mine as well. All you guys have to do is just type in such mine go faint and you guys can go ahead and teleport here. Firstly, my mine is actually pretty damn big and you guys will be making a lot of orbs and money. And secondly, you guys will be helping me out a lot. So yeah, go ahead and come warp to my mine and help me mine here. With that being said though, guys, we're going to go ahead and get straight back into the grinding. I just want to give you guys a quick update clip of what I've done so far in the past, maybe like two hours or so. I did go ahead and take like an hour break or something like that. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get straight back into the grinding and I will go ahead and car right back to you guys later on with another update clip. And yeah, let's go ahead and see what we can do with our pickaxe. Alrighty, boys, welcome back. It is now maybe about like an hour since our last clip. We've just been mining and just upgrading our Dragon Burst enchant. As you guys can see, it is over 2,000 levels now. And I just want to quickly talk about what the best enchants are to upgrade as a beginner on the server, just in case I got some people watching this video that are new to the server. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and quickly go over that for you guys right now. So starting off, guys, I would recommend definitely upgrading Fortune because Fortune is going to go ahead and get your mine rank up. And the higher your mine rank is, the more mine orbs and money you make while you're mining. So yeah, definitely go ahead and get your fortune up. But while you're doing that, also upgrade your Dragon Burst because every single time Dragon Burst procs, it counts towards dollars and also mine orbs and also green beacons. So yeah, Dragon Burst, I'd say, is the second best enchant to go ahead and upgrade. And then the last enchant you guys want to go ahead and upgrade is the orb grid enchant. You guys, if you guys do not have orb grid, definitely go ahead and get at least a few thousand levels of this while you're going ahead and maxing out your Dragon Burst and also your fortune. Because obviously without orbs, you can't really upgrade your enchants and stuff like that. So your orb grid just gives you more orbs while you're mining and so on and so forth. And that is basically my top three enchants that I would say that you guys need to go ahead and max out before upgrading any other enchants. Like you guys can still get like a few thousand levels of other enchants. As you guys can see, we got like key finder and stuff like that. But definitely before going ahead and maxing out those other enchants, go ahead and max out your fortune, dragon burst and orb grid. Now that that's out of the way, guys, let's go ahead and warp over to the Slayer universe. I want to quickly just kind of show you guys what it looks like and stuff like that. So yeah, as you guys can see, boys, just a bunch of mobs that you guys can go ahead and kill here. Honestly, my FPS is pretty low here and I'm pretty sure like everyone else's FPS is low as well because of how many mobs there are and so on and so forth. But just looking at this universe, honestly, this is a pretty cool concept and I do really like this. Like, I don't know what the difference between the zombies and the creepers and the skeletons are. Maybe like the creepers give you more mine or slayer orbs while you like kill them and stuff like that. But guys, let's go ahead and go over some of the enchants that they have to offer. So they got the auto click enchant. Who needs to click manually as you level this enchant up, you will swing your sword faster automatically while moving. So it basically just clicks for you and kills mobs for you, I assume. Like you just gotta go ahead and aim at the mobs and I'm pretty sure it just basically kills them for you, which is pretty cool. They got the sharpness one, deal more damage to mobs and making it faster to kill higher value mobs. Okay, so maybe that is what these mobs are. So basically, probably the skeletons are higher value than the zombies, and then the creepers are probably higher value than the skeletons, and so on and so forth. Anyways, they got the reach enchant. It allows you to hit mobs farther away as you level this enchant up. They should have said further, not farther. Guys, come on, OP Legends. You guys gotta go ahead and fix your grammar up. Anyways, sweeping strike. What does this do? Increases the range of your hits to make it easier to hit mobs, even if you're not directly looking at them. This one honestly does seem pretty over overpowered they got the multi strike enchant allows you to strike multiple mobs at the same time honestly this one's pretty cool as well it's basically like kill aura i assume and then they got mutate
teleportation summons lightning from the sky, killing mobs instantaneously. And then they got the chain one. Your hits have a chance to chain onto 10 other mobs. Okay, this one actually does seem pretty good. Moving over, they got the laser one. Kills all mobs in a straight line. Okay, this is actually pretty good, bro. Literally every enchant I've read so far seems insanely overpowered. They got poison. Has a chance to summon potions from the sky, damaging mobs when they splash. Okay, this one's actually good as well. And then last but not least, they got the grenade. Your kills have a chance to drop a grenade, exploding and dealing massive damage to enemies. Now, I don't know which enchants I should go ahead and upgrade first. We're not going to go ahead and touch any of the enchants in today's episode. We'll go ahead and leave that for the next episode. So guys, if you guys do grind the Slayer universe, go ahead and comment down below the best enchants that I should go ahead and max out first. And then we'll go ahead and definitely check it out in the next episode and max it out and stuff like that. But guys, let's go ahead and go back to mining. I also want to quickly ask you guys, should I make a gang for this season or should I join a gang and just compete for gang top? Because I, I do want to go ahead and compete for gang top, but the only problem is I don't know if I should make myself my own gang with you guys or if I should just join a gang that already exists on the server. So yeah, go ahead and comment down below what you guys think I should do. I also just realized that I didn't even do my G kit. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's go to type and search G kit. We got the key G kit. Let's go ahead and redeem that. We got the pet G kit, pouches G kit, robot G kit. Moving over, we got the Easter G kit, Halloween G kit, and then also the holiday G kit. There we go. And we got ourselves a total of 60 relic keys, bro. That is actually pretty overpowered. Let's go ahead and redeem all that. There we go. And then the rest of the stuff, honestly, I'm just going to go ahead and put in trash like the stone pickaxes. Let's go ahead and put all this in the trash. There we go. And then with the minions, I'm going to hold on to these for right now because I heard that these are going to become super overpowered later on. So yeah, we'll go ahead and see how true that is. But yeah, I just want to go ahead and quickly do my J-Kit. Also, if we go ahead and type in slash armor, I'm pretty sure we can actually afford another piece of this. Let's go ahead and quickly just check. Yeah, we can actually go ahead and afford the leggings. Let's go ahead and purchase that. There we go. And now we got a armor of some sort for every single piece. We got the sunshine chest plate, hydrogen leggings, and also the hydrogen boots. But guys, I think on that note, we're going to be wrapping up the first episode of the season here. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys did enjoy, please do drop a like on the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys for a brand new video in the next few days. And peace out.